Welcome to Protein Machining. I'm Dylan Jackson. I'm co-owner and co-founder of Protein Machining. Uh, my business partner, Brad Dunwell, unfortunately couldn't be here for the tour, but we really appreciate the opportunity that Practical Machinist has given us to show off what our small shop has to offer. Um, Protein Machining is a small prototype shop here in Tucson, Arizona. We specialize in relatively small prototypes and short run production out of aluminum, titanium, stainless steel, plastics, and pretty much anything that our customers bring to us. Uh, we really try to take anything our customers give us and take it to the highest level, both in terms of surface finish, quality, uh, precision, and excellent communication with our customers. Brad and I met in about 2014 when we attended our local community college for CNC machining. Uh, both of us were working in shops at the time and realized that there was a hole in the market for a machine shop that had great communication, delivered parts on time with a short lead time, um, high precision parts that had great surface finishes, and met print. Uh, once we graduated in 2015, we bought a Kitamura mill on Craigslist and rented some shop space and have started building protein machining ever since. We're now up to three mills, one of which we're selling and a manual lathe, and we are just pursuing growing this business to the best we can. So this is our inspection shipping slash small kitchen room. Um, we're a small shop, so we got to pack everything into small spaces as well. Uh, we do all of our precision inspection here, making sure that we abide to the customer print. We pack all our orders and we sometimes make some coffee. So starting off, we have a Brown and Sharp Gauge 2000 CMM. Um, it uses a reflex box and allows calibration of different probes and inspection of 3D features, um, hole to hole in, in XYZ, flatness, parallelism, all that stuff. Uh, it's, it's a great tool to have for tighter inspections or things that are not as easy to lay out on a plate. And we're happy to have it. Um, on to our manual inspection table where we have gauge rings of different sizes. We've got some inside micrometers. We've got pin sets um, all the way up to 625 that we use frequently. Um, we have a small surface plate as well as a Minitoyo Height Master for much more preci precision checking in Z. Um, we can check hole locations, hole sizes, feature sizes, all of that. Uh, we also have a Bausch & Lomb microscope over here, which we use to inspect chamfers, surface finishes, um, tools a lot of the time if we're looking for broken tools or, or reasons that finishes aren't turning out the way we want. And over on the other side of the room, we have our shipping table where we've got all of our plastic bags. We've got everything pretty much that we need to ship out orders. We, uh, a big thing for us is making sure that our orders get to our customers intact, no damage, things like that. And it's, uh, it's been a lear learning process over the last five years, but we're, we're happy to do it. So let's head into the shop. Right. So as we come into the shop, this is our abrasives and cutoff bench. Um, ideally material flows in from the door, gets cut up, deburred, sanded if it needs to, and then off to and process material over here. Next to our abrasives bench is our programming station. Um, ideally, it wouldn't be where it is, but the first machine behind me that we got was our Kitamura, and it uses RS-232 communication, and the cables are not that long. So unfortunately, it's here for the time being, but we're currently trying to sell the kitty, and once that's gone, we'll definitely rearrange the entire shop. Um, over here is kind of our center work cluster. So we've got in-process material, any tooling for these specific jobs, as well as the travelers if they're printed. Next to that is all of our tools that are available for both machines, as well as uh, collets for all of the tool holders. And they're in 3D printed tool holder or, or collet holders that I designed and printed myself. Next to that, we have our tool storage. So we've got drills in here. Um, we've got taps organized by size. Next drawer down is end mills organized by size and type, so ball mill, different flute counts, things like that. And then the last drawer for us is uh, all specialty tools, so key seat cutters, corner rounders, indexables, things like that. So as we move down this way, we've got our on-the-floor gauge storage, so all of the mics that we use often, inside, outside, things like that. Um, we opted to keep these out here rather than in inspection. A, because it made sense with the room we have, and B, because we use these very frequently. Um, next to that is our soft jaw storage for any soft jaws that we can reuse. 
um, stones, files, things like that. And then very often the top of this is covered in work in progress, which right now is our holiday bells. We always try to do a holiday ornament or something like that for our customers to show thanks at the end of the year. Um, we're running a little late on these this year, but we're really happy with how they turned out. Um, finally, down this line, we have our brand new rotary screw compressor. We decided to go with a rotary screw because our shop space is, so, is small enough that a piston compressor was really detrimental to our quality of life here. Um, we picked this up this year and have been extremely happy with it. So this is the Kitamura that we started Proteum with. It's a 1X size spark changer. So it's a vertical mill, but with a pallet changer. It's got a 15,000 RPM spindle, a Yaznak control, which is becoming a little bit more rare. And it, it was a great machine. Um, it, the processing power of this older control, it's a 2001 machine, actually matches a lot of the newer machines that I've worked on. And so it, it let us really create beautiful looking parts that were in spec um, pretty quickly. And so we were really happy to start on this machine and we're sad to see it go, but we're hoping that it finds a good home here. All right, and this is our second machine. It's a 2000 Brother TCS2A. Um, it's a, another BT30 machine, 10,000 RPM spindle, incredibly quick rapids, and it, it just makes great parts. Um, we picked it up to have a second spindle in the shop and it kind of started our love with the Brother machines. Um, it just finished up a job, so if you take a look inside, you can see we've got an orange vise on the table. Um, we're pretty heavily invested in the orange vise system and you'll see it on the other machine. Um, and yeah, we just love this machine. It's quick, accurate, holds good tolerance. Uh, we're really happy with our purchase of it. We also added a CalMotion DNC box so that we can use USB to upload and download programs as well as DNC from. This made a older machine like this with less memory a lot easier to use with modern day tool paths um, like high speed clearing and things like that. Between the two brother machines, we have our material storage rack. We keep any overrun stock, um, stock that we picked up at discounts, soft gel material, fixture plates, things like that over here. And that way, if there are customers that come in that don't have material or just need a quick one off, we can very often supply out of our own stocks, which makes turnaround time even quicker. Uh, next to that and across from our other brother, we have our newest machine, which is a Brother Speedio S700X1 high torque. So this has the 10,000 RPM spindle that is a high torque spindle in the Brother lineup. So we've got a lot more torque and power than the standard 16K. And it's a 21 tool. We've got probing, tool setting, and we also have the orange subplate on here. So we've got a bunch of zero points so that we can quickly remove and maneuver any of these vices to any of these positions. Um, it allows us to pull all the vices off. We can put a vacuum chuck on here. Um, if it makes more sense to use two of these vices next to each other, we can pop them out and move them around. And it really just lets us lean it even more hard into that quick turnaround uh, methodology that we like. We don't have any new products to show or anything currently running the machine. We just finished the setup on there, you can see. We'll go ahead and run a dry cycle just so you can see the brother in action.
We at Proteum Machining just want to thank you, Practical Machinists, for coming out and checking out our small shop. Um, we're growing very quickly, so you guys will have to come back in a couple of years and catch up with where we are then. Thank you again, and we hope you enjoyed the shop tour.